guys welcome back to my channel so today is another video in the Markle debacle series and um, I've had a few suggestions of videos and the one I really want to focus on today is her family um, because there are many you know many people are suspicious of the fact that you know that the apparent feud between Megan and Samantha and her father and this is a reason just to find out the real situation if there is actually a feud or whether they are all conspiring together to make Megan look better or at least she thinks it'll make her look better because the actuality is it just makes her look like a complete bitch but anyway, this, this region aims to look at the situation with her family and just find out what's going on there. Um, and also what Harry really thinks of her family, her mother especially, because I, feel, I think he's only ever met her mother. So it would be really interesting to actually um, to look into that because there is a lot of unanswered questions around it because, you know, obviously... Samantha was a lot older than than Megan. I, I think she was a teenager when Megan was born. So, you know, there is a big age gap there. Um, you know, just wondering how they got along when she was growing up and things like that. Whether anything any of the Markles say is true. Or whether it's all a complete fabrication. Because, you know, people aren't just born liars. They learn it from somewhere. So I'm going to start shuffling in a moment, focusing on the question in hand, and we'll see what comes up. So I'll just connect with the cards first. So what is the true situation between Meghan Markle and her family? So I'm just going to just going to shuffle them using my hand doing this as I can't because I'm still recording on my phone I'm hoping to get a stand stand up camera very soon so let's just have a look at the situation okay so these two cards want to come out first All reversed. Interestingly. So, this reading, the top line is all Megan, the middle one is Samantha, and the bottom line is Thomas Markle Sr. So, what I am picking up with in regards to Megan is there's no love lost at all for her, between her and her family. She is... The fact that this is reversed, it just shows that, you know, she's very much about herself because upright, it's about generosity. It's about being committed to family. Um, you know, it's about learning and teaching things, whereas, you know, it just shows that she's literally just out for herself in this situation. I mean, to be honest, I've always believed that, you know, the Markles are all a little bit shady, but the majority of what they're saying is true in regards to her. Um, and the Knight of Cups reversed, you know, it shows that she's kind of on a mission to pull herself away from her family. She isn't going towards them. She's moving away from them. Um, you know, there's no love lost there. Um, the High Priestess card, when it's upright, it can indicate, you know, a strong connection with someone so I feel like she's literally just cut the connection off 
completely, you know, and she purposely avoids them. You know, the chariot upright, it's about moving forward, you know, to a significant purpose with another person. But I feel like she's just purposely moving away from them. She's staying away. She doesn't want any involvement with them whatsoever. Now, obviously it shows how they're all linked in with each other, how they feel about each other. Um, and I feel for Samantha, you know, for the most part, she's she's a relatively good person. You know, I feel like to a degree she felt growing up, you know, a kinship, a kindredship with Megan growing up, you know, and she does have care for her and she wants to look out for her. And in a lot of ways, they are two peas in a pod because they're very similar. Um you know, you, ha you only have to look at them to know that they're related, but I feel like personality-wise as well, but the difference here is, is that Samantha actually has, you know, some maternal instincts about her, because if you remember a reading I did last week or the week before about Megan, she's got no maternal instincts whatsoever, but I feel like Samantha, she does actually have a caring nature to her, you know, so she doesn't have, you know, um... She isn't as bad as people think, you know, and I feel like she was a bit of a de facto mother to Megan growing up because her mother wasn't really around, so she kind of took her under her wing and I do feel she genuinely did care for her. Um, the situation, how she feels now about her, she's completely turned her back on her. Um, she feels that Megan's very manipulative. She's a game player. She's out for herself. She's only there to hurt people, you know, and I feel especially... The situation with Thomas Markle, you know, she feels like her dad has been treated very unfairly and she's been treated very unfairly and all of this. And this card, when it's upright, is all about fairness and being treated equally. And she just feels like, you know, Megan isn't giving her family the respect that they deserve. Um... I am going to pull some more cards on this because there's a few things that need clarifying but this is just sort of the basic at the moment of what's going on with each person so with Thomas Senior you know I feel like he's kind of looking at the situation where he feels he's gone wrong if there's anything he could have done differently to prevent this happening you know I feel he was the person that allowed this to happen for her because he gave her all the tools she needed to get into, you know, her acting roles, the position position that she's in, you know, and he kind of was the instigator of all of this, which is why he feels so guilty with the judgment card here because he feels like it's all his fault, you know, if he'd given her a more grounded upbringing, maybe she wouldn't be the way that she is. You know, and I feel like here, he's just, even though he is completely tired and, you know, the burden has laid on him. I mean, the, the guy's got no money. He's completely bankrupt. He's living in, I think it's like some supported housing facility he's living in. Um, You know, he's, he's given her everything. You know, he gave her absolutely everything to get where she needs to be you know she's got the beautiful house a beautiful garden um you know he sees her you know obviously it's his daughter he loves her you know she's this beautiful woman she's got everything she needs you know and he's feeling really wiped out because he's given her all the tools she needed to be able to get here and he feels taken advantage of you know he feels unappreciated he feels like he's carrying all of this on his own but he still loves his daughter and he'll still you know be there for her with open arms if it was upright you know he'd be completely done but the fact that it's reversed shows that even though all this is going on he still wants his daughter to be in his life he still loves her and he still supports her you know and yes they are extremely dysfunctional but i feel to a degree a lot of you know, it is, it's partially his fault, but it also partially isn't his fault because, you know, people 
find themselves in situations like this all the time but they can still be humble they can still be good people but she chose to go the opposite way and I'm, I'm curious to kind of pull cards on Doria to see what her influence has been here because I really don't believe that she was an air hostess or anything like that you know I have a lot of reason to believe that she was in prison for a lot of Megan's childhood and she was a bit of a drifter you know and she's kind of you know she used people to get what she wants and she's kind of passed that on so I'm really curious to, to look at the cards for her but I you know from what I can see here you know Megan is just completely I mean they're all upside down she's completely turned her back on her family she's got no need for them now you know she is a narcissist she'll only use she'll only have people in her life so long as they're useful and she's got no need for them anymore and like Samantha has turned her back on Megan now because she sees the truth of what she is which is a manipulator and a liar and she's extremely hurt by the way her father was treated I mean her dad really did have a heart attack at the wedding you know and she could have well you can't really delay the wedding because it's a royal wedding but you know she could have made sure that he had a gift or something sent to him you know to make him feel involved or you know at least postpone the honeymoon to go and see him but she didn't because she's painting this picture of herself as being this poor little orphan who's got no family no one loves her and nobody cares about her it's just ridiculous I'm going to get some more, some cards on Doria because I want to know what her sort of position is in this. Okay. Okay, so I'll just really have a lot of room here I apologize okay so you can see here the knight of pentacles reversed again it's a very selfish person who only does things for themselves and for the betterment of themselves financially you know upright it would be someone who is on a mission um, to provide for a family and you know to actually do good you know nights are all about doing good and the fact that it's reversed it shows that she's literally just in this for herself I feel when she saw Thomas she got stars in her eyes because she thought oh you know maybe I could be famous maybe I could meet famous people you know maybe this will get me out of the shithole that I'm in me you know maybe this will really improve my situation so she literally had stars in her eyes and dollar signs in her eyes that was what it was about for her you know she was a little bit starstruck you know he's not an unattractive man you know per se and everyone says that she's really pretty or she was I don't think she was at all to be honest and you know her the ugliness inside of her really shows in her face the same with Megan um so I think she just had stars in her eyes, you know, and she manipulated the situation and, you know, she got pregnant really quickly and they got married because she had things she wanted to achieve and, you know, she was literally in a place where she, she was, you know, her, her living situation wasn't great so she met this man and, you know, suddenly she was like, yes, you know, the opportunity is here and he was married at that time as well to... Um, Samantha and Thomas Jr's mum so obviously she didn't really care about that the fact that he had children you know she, she didn't care she was breaking up a home um this you know again this is just showing you know she she doesn't really care for you know what's going on around her she'll just kind of turn her back on everything you know she's, she's turning a blind eye to it really I think but I do think feel she's had a lot of influence over her daughter because the ones are all about action and communication and I feel as though you know she's given Megan a lot of ideas on how to achieve the things that she wants and one of them which is a really touching difficult subject is race you know she's using the the black empowerment 
the thing you know she's really pushing that you know there's nothing wrong with being proud of your race but the thing is on all of her legal documents she lists herself as being caucasian so it's a bit hypocritical you know to try and promote that when you you don't identify as being black yourself and yet you're promoting all of these things it's just really hypocritical and i feel like you know her mother emotionally you know she turned her back on megan as well while she was a child you know she left she left her with Thomas. She had no care or concern for her then because she was busy doing her own thing. Um, you know, when she's when it's upright, it's all about the truth. You know, and connecting to other people and you know just connecting to nature. But I feel you know this way again. It's all about secrecy and lies and just kind of doing things your own way with no concern for anybody else's feelings um you know so i just feel like she was absolutely starstruck you know she she took her opportunity she got it you know there's a lot of pictures as well um of when megan's apparently a baby and like some of them just look photoshopped because the position that thomas is in it's literally the same position to the degree that he's in in later photographs so it's just really strange like the whole situation is strange and another topic that i want to cover on another video as well is how old she really is because there's a lot of suspicion around it and there is actually documents that online that show that she is at least four or five years older than she says she is but obviously they've been removed to kind of cover her back and the doctor that apparently delivered her as well he's falsified documents and things so I really want to cover that that would be really interesting I mean obviously this is just from a spiritual point of view and you know I read what the cards give me everyone has different interpretations and again, I want to reiterate that if people dislike someone that has a different colour of the skin, you know, it may not be because of the colour of the skin, it's because of the character and who they are as a person. I myself, you know, I hate racism of any shape or form so i just like to get that out there and if anyone comes on here making racist comments then you know they won't be appreciated it's just literally about the character of the person and the vibes that i get so i just wanted to make that clear um so next what we'll cover is how harry feels about her family what he knows and you know how that's translated into the royal family so I'm just going to shuffle the more cards. Okay. This is an interesting one. But I know why they're here. Okay. Okay. So, I feel when... Megan told Harry about her family he kind of felt like his dream had come true he'd met a kindred spirit because obviously you know he doesn't have his mother so you know he feels like some kind of kindredship with her there the fact that there's a piece of her family missing as well and he felt like he could save her which is represented by the king of cups he wanted to be you know her emotional support he wanted to be the man that she always leans on you know he felt useful for the first time in his life you know when you know he wanted to build a family with her because she didn't have a family of her own you know and obviously this is right in the beginning that we're talking about here um you know when like obviously this it's the six of cups is about nostalgia it's about someone coming back from the past or a situation coming back from the past and obviously because his mother died when he was young he felt like he could really talk to her about that and she would understand what it feels like you know to not be close to your family to not have that strong connection that you'd hoped for it feels like there's a piece missing of the puzzle but you know these three cards here they kind of indicate more where he is now and this indicates that obviously knowing what he knows now about her that she deserved it a little bit 
you know, that it's justice for her, that she isn't close with her family because she isn't that this amazing, fantastic person that everyone claims that she is, you know, it's kind of a little bit spiteful of him because it's like, well, you know what, maybe she deserves it because look at all these things that she's done. Um, you know, she's just, it's, and in a way I feel like he thinks, oh, well, you know, I deserve this because, you know, the, the way she's treating me because I haven't been the best in the past and things like that. And it's, it's a really like odd behavior to kind of have, um, the King of Pentacles, like if it was upright, you know, he wants to be there for her, he's very committed in the family home, feeling very secure. Um, this kind of indicates to me that he's not really feeling very secure. He, you know, he feels lied to, he doesn't really know where he stands, you know, like this upright is about passion, you know, he's not really feeling very passionate towards him at the moment. Um, you know, it's kind of once he's found out the truth of what's going on he's pulling away from her he doesn't really to be honest I don't the, the sense I'm getting is he doesn't even really want to be married to her anymore but he doesn't know what to do because obviously they have a child they're in the royal family things aren't just as cut and dry as getting divorced you know there's a lot of processes going on and then the next video we'll talk about that because the men in grey you know they will be doing a lot behind the scenes so I want to explore that but you know he's just not feeling passionate towards her it's like every breath that she takes at the moment annoys him and you know it is evident if you actually look at pictures of them when they're not posing you know in the moments before they they actually come and see the mass of the press he looks really angry he's gritting his teeth he's losing his hair you know it just goes to show that he's lost all his passion and drive in this relationship now so let's just zoom in out just to show you all the cards so i think the question we'll do next and then we'll end the video is just what's going to happen with all of them going forward i also in a future video want to look at where Archie is because no one has seen him for three weeks and why there's so much secrecy around it it's just the weirdest thing ever you know when you're a royal uh, an active member of the royal family you're expected you know to you know attend events you know William and Kate's children all did and Archie hasn't it's just odd Okay, so um, the future of the situation is, I feel this, you know, there's going to be a lot more stories that are coming out and it, a lot of them are going to be fiction, but there's going to be one or two that are the truth. So I'll just show you the card. So let's see. We've got Jesus there, the man there, snake, a dragon, a wreath. I don't know what that one is. So I feel like, obviously you're going to have your snakes, you're going to have your liars, the snakes in the grass, but there's a few grains of truth in there, which would be the Jesus and the wreath, you know, the wreath of truth. So there's going to be a few stories in there that are true. Um, she's kind of made a rod for her own back. Um, you know, she's going to kind of play dumb to the situation. She's going to pretend, you know, this is a card of victimization. So she's going to act the victim again. You know, a lot of these stories that are coming out, she's releasing them. She's speaking to the press under aliases and things like that. You know, a lot of these stories are coming from her to, to kind of pimp herself up and make herself look better. So I feel like, you know, there's going to be some serious victimization by her and you know, she's going to act like she's devastated and things like that. And I feel like this, this is active communication. So I know Samantha's got a book coming out. So I feel like there is actually going to be a lot of truth in that book. There's going to be a few things revealed that we don't already know. And of course, Megan's going to deny them because that's the kind of person that she is. But it's the truth. You know, there's no love lost here. They're not going to try and reconcile, you know, things are just going to stay as they are. 
I feel for Thomas Senior in particular, he's going to have a lot of sleepless nights and he's going to be worrying because at the end of the day, he loves his daughter, you know, he's got a family. He loves his daughter, you know, and he wants her to be okay and she won't communicate with him, you know, and she just, you know, it creates a lot of anxiety for him and a lot of worry because he doesn't know the truth of what's going on he's being kept in the dark he's not even met his grandchild which is the saddest thing of all it's just so sad you know um i feel like megan and harry are going to keep up appearances of this perfect amazing family you know all the while you know things aren't what they seem you know and this these two together, like, if this was upright, it's about feeling emotionally alone and isolated and out in the cold. But I feel like they're just keeping up appearances that things are great, you know. So this is why this is reversed. But in actual fact, there's a lot of shit going on, you know. Um, and the temperance, if it was upright, you know, there'd be angelic protection. But there isn't, you know, she's not being protected, really, because... Even the royal family are getting sick of her, but obviously there's only so much they can do in, you know, in a time frame. So I just feel like for now they're just going to keep up appearances that everything's fine and dandy and she is a wonderful, amazing person, but obviously the rest of us know better. So if you've liked this video, please like, please subscribe if you've not subscribed already. Please leave your comments below. I'm always interested to know what people think of my interpretations and if you've got any suggestions please also leave them below take care take care guys and have a great evening